Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel CAD with Vikram. So today in this video, I am going to make a new component, new projects. So while creating this component, you will learn how to create knurling uh, or you can say diamond knurling and also we will see internal threading. So first of all, I am taking a new sheet just to go for model and take a new model sheet and define your project's name. I am defining here diamond knurling. So after defining this project, you just click on OK. You will get a new model sheet. Okay, so this is your new model sheet. So in this model sheet, you are going to get first of all a cylindrical body. So simply for creating a cylindrical body, I am going to create a circle first. Create a circle and define some diameter first. Whatever di diameter you want to apply, just define. So and then just extrude it. Okay. So how much you want to extrude, you can extrude because of in this face, in this outer face only, I will create knurling. So 40 mm is okay. Then again, I'm going to create another cylinder in bottom side. So create a circle again with the center point. Just define some diameter on less than that outer boundary. Like uh, I'm going to apply 43. I think this is okay. Let's finish your sketch and then just extrude it. Select your sketch carefully and then define some values. So simply I am defining here 75. I think this is okay. Okay. The next I want to create a hole in this body, in this cylindrical body. So create a circle again and we have to extrude cut. So create a circle with some diameter like a 22 I applied here and then just extrude cut. Select your circle, change of direction and stretch this arrow for dimension otherwise also you can apply until next. Now you can see inside hole is created. Then next, next I am going to apply chamfer in this edges, okay, in this face edges. Define some symmetric values 2mm I applied here then click OK. So just hide these sketches if you want to hide you can hide with right click okay so also if you want to apply chamfer apply otherwise just ignore it later i will apply here no issue so next i am going to apply first of all internal thread so go for thread and go for detail type and select your inside face and what parameters you want to apply you can define your measure diameter length pitch and angle values you can see all values are there so by default values i am taking here so it will take little bit time because of that is that is creating thread you can see so thread is created here so while creating thread a little bit your system will slow okay so my thread is created here so next next what is my target I am going to create a knurling on this face so for creating a knurling first of all I am going to create a plane just offset this plane okay because of in this plane I will create a path then I will project on that circular face because directly in that circular face you can't create a profile so simply I am creating here I think uh, some relation is going on tangent relation just ignore it once again take a line and create a line okay and if you want to apply length values also you can apply just try to keep uh, this length values more than that uh, knurling face length values okay simply I am applying something some dimension like a 17 mm because symmetrically I want to create here so this end point to this center point so same thing I am doing here for this for this point origin point to this end point just apply how much values just drop down and define same values 15 mm I am going to apply here okay so now you can see both uh, side dimension is okay if you want to stretch you can stretch so like that my geometry is fixed no issue so next what you have to do we have to project this so go for project curve okay and then select this curve first and then object to project to 
where you want to project on this face so select a single face and select this face okay don't forget to select single face otherwise it will select all your body's faces now you can see you got a curve on this face so this is your path actually okay so next our target is to create a profile for knurling okay in knurling um, for diamond knurling what section we need okay so in middle i want to create a profile so select a, just go for isometric and select a sketch on this uh, plane so something little bit like component uh, component orientation is not right so again again i am trying here so orientation is like a moving that is rotating this is not perfect so no issue i am going to get on this face after that i will project on that middle face so simply go and create on this front face okay select here select a front face or plane you can take here and then just create so if you want to see where is your path so just change it as a wireframe now you can see it so in this side your path is there so now i am going to create a profile okay that profile will travel according to that path so first create a center axis if you want to create just create otherwise no need to create and then just like a triangle i am going to create okay symmetrically okay so triangle i have to create define some basic dimensions okay simply for that shape i am defining some dimension okay so i can define here 6 mm okay then next uh, this distance i need to define also if you want to define angle angle you can define but no issue i am defining a distance just a second okay now define some values 5 mm i am defining here so next what you have to do we have to keep symmetry this line just select both point and select your center line and then make symmetric okay now define some values because we need this section uh, in bottom side so just define some dimension okay for defining position of that circle sorry not circle that triangle so 17 mm i think this is okay okay so just try to keep little bit outside no issue after then just hide this plane because this plane is disturbing otherwise just no what we have to we have to project so don't hide just select that plane for a sketch first okay and then what you have to do go for a sketch and here you will got an option project curve select a curve and then just click ok so now you will get your this curve is projected on this middle plane okay now you can swept uh, you can swept this uh, profile according to given guide curve so go for option swept option and then select a curve first profile this is your profile section and then select a path okay so you can see swap profile is performing here just click ok ok here you will not uh, get that option like a boolean operation so simply just extrude it as a different body after then we will cut it so some values is like a less than that face outer face so i want to extend that face so suppose so something some relation is there okay so set will change so no issue just ignore it finish your sketch and we having another option go for uh, more and select a option like a offset face okay so we are going to offset this triangle face just offset by defining some extra values okay so do the same thing okay so in both face i am doing the same thing just offset your face so no need to extend your sketch next in knurling no both direction we need same slot so just mirror your feature first so select a feature okay select a plane mid plane okay we having mid plane and then just preview apply preview 
so just a second here okay uh, i forgot to select offset faces just edit this feature mirror feature okay and otherwise just undo it again go for mirror feature and then just select carefully what this section and this also you have to select offset face okay then only all three uh, features will mirror now you can you can see both feature as mirrored here just hide this sketch the next i am going to subtract it okay so go for subtract option and select your body first and then tool okay because of we are going to remove here so just cancel it just a second select your body first and then this is your tool this triangular body is tool just click ok okay you can see something cutout is there okay so next next what you are going to do uh, next again you have to subtract this second feature so go and select this feature now you can see you can hide your sketch next what you have to do we have to pattern so just go for pattern feature so what pattern feature you are going to use circular pattern and then select a feature first so in feature just select a strap and then subtract 20 okay so this body we have to select and then select your axis define your number of copies i think 40 is enough 35 is okay i think just apply preview so we need to wait just wait a second okay it is applying because of there are many uh, comp, uh, feature will create there so that's why that is taking a time so we need to wait so you can see this pattern is finished so again i am going to pattern this another slot so here also carefully you have to select this feature and also subtract you have to select okay and then select the center axis okay for circular and then click ok same copies i am applying here 35 okay just keep to uh, keep the same values same count values so here also we need to wait updating you can see 47 percent is is finished you need to wait 72 percent is finished okay so almost it is done if you want to skip you can skip some se uh, some seconds video no issue so updating 99 percent is feature is updated so just to wait a second okay so done so now you can see knurling is created now you can see just zoom it and see proper knurling so also if you want to define your different different size shape then you can change so in this phase in, in this edges i'm going to apply chamfer simply for looking purpose no issue just apply after then okay so this is knurling okay this is the process with the help of this steps you can create knurling so i hope you understand how to create okay so simply for uh, visualizing purpose i'm going to apply some color so simply select your component and select like a brass i'm going to apply okay so whatever color you want to apply just i'm going to apply this brass color okay so go for true shading for realistic view okay just wait a second the component will appear soon oh, now you can see how it is looking it's looking a realistic component so you can rotate it you can see so this is your component so i hope you understand how to get knurling okay on cylindrical face so thank you so much guys for watching this video